MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So Mark, this is the Variax i700T. Is it a new model? The Variax i700T was first launched at EMO in 2013. But this has been updated with a new Smooth X control. Okay, before we talk about the machine then, let's actually talk about Smooth. What, what is Smooth? Well, Smooth X is our new control for five axis machining centers and multitasking machines such as the Variaxis and Integrex. But Smooth X is part of a um, Smooth technology. The smooth technology encompasses the whole core design of the machine. It features optimized machine stretches, the latest servo drives and motion control technology, the ergonomic styling and easy access to the machine, plus also the new CNC. Okay, now if I was a, a machinist or an operator or a programmer, the most important thing to me would be, or one of the most important things, is it gonna reduce my cycle times? Yes, the new Smooth X can reduce cycle times by up to 30%, and we're demonstrating that this week. There are a number of components in here that we've machined previously, and with the new technology, we've seen significant cycle time reductions. Okay, now on this particular machine, this is a five axis machine, what's the sort of capacity that we've got here? Okay, this, this can handle a workpiece diameter up to 850 millimeters in diameter and up to 500 millimeters high. So it's a, it's a big five axis yes, machine? Yes, yes. And I note from here you're doing a, an alloy wheel, is that the sort of market that you're aiming this machine at? Yes, this um, five axis machine is also capable of turning as well. So we can complete an operation in a single, in a single process, what we call done in one. Turning. So where are the turning tools housed? The turning tools are housed in the same magazine as uh, the milling tools and we use a hearth coupling on the spindle that's able to lock the spindle for the use of turning applications. Wow, okay, so this is now a five axis but it's a, a turning centre or a turning machine at the same time. What sort of speed can you turn at? You can turn it to 1100 RPM on this machine. Okay, and what about the spindle speed for milling? The spindle speed for milling as standard is 18,000 RPM. So it's fast? It's very fast. So what about the precision of the machine and what it can deliver on component manufacture? Okay, the machine is very precise. It's extremely repeatable in terms of its accuracy. And does, uh, that, does that come from the nature of its build? Are you using linear rollers? Yeah. How, how's it built? Yes, the machine does use linear roller guides. It's a fully uh, cast base and uh, our ball screws are pre-tensioned and also the uh, uh, servo system is in line with the ball screw. So the machine is built with inherent accuracy. And with it being quite a large machine, is, is there a big market for this size of five axis, or call it five axis turning machine? Yes, there is, and uh, five axis applications are growing. But also the requirement of five axis is increasing. People have always been um, machining with five axis, but what they're looking for is the AD performance. So a machine of this capability, with a smooth X control now, is really providing a breakthrough in cycle times with productivity. And with this type of component you've got on here, they are basically turning this wheel and then they can do any of the milling, drilling, all the, the features on the wheel as well. Yes, that's right. We're turning it, we're rough machining, using high efficiency cycles, and we're doing five axis machining as well for the full uh, machining of the component. So if I'd have been a manufacturer previously doing the turning on a turning centre, taking it off, putting it on a milling machine, five axis machine, it's going to save me a lot of time. It's going to save you a lot of time and you get greater accuracy and also it's going to reduce your costs because the fixtures are less. If you're having multiple fixtures on multiple machines, you start off with one fixture and you can complete it on the single machine uh, setup. Is there a restriction in the amount of tools you can have? Uh, the machine starts off with 30 tools and there we go, options up to that, up to 160. So you can have 160 tools on this machine? 160 tools, yes. I've, I've seen uh, the 700 before, before the uh, new smooth control, and we had the door open. It's very easy to get in and, and, and load. Yes, it is. Oh, we can demonstrate that if you like. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So to, to load or to go in, into the machine, it's so accessible. Yeah, the machine's been designed with uh, the ergonomics in mind and uh, thinking of the comfort of the operator. So as you can see, you can step right in to a very close, close position and it's very easy to load without any strain on the operator. I notice the swarf's going out the back of the machine. Yes, the, the swarf is taken out the back of the machine to a conveyor at the rear side. 
and the the actual uh, that would be the x-axis is moving rather than obviously the table itself and moving on the column yes um, the um, the x and the y axis all come off the gantry construction at the top and also for loading as well this cover automatically retracts so if we're heavy, loading a heavy cover a heavy workpiece we can load by a crane directly over the table so that will actually retract right to the back of the machine yes that will yes brilliant I, it, it's it's when you look at the machine, aesthetically it looks fantastic and obviously the technology involved is uh, at another level as well. So thanks for your time, Mark. Thank you very much. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.